I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Design World. And I'm Lisa Eitel with Design World. Today, Mary and I are going to cover the high efficiency timing belt version of the HMR Actuator Series from the Electromechanical and Drives Division of Parker Hannafin. We cover the ball screw version of the actuator in a separate video. There are five different frame sizes of this actuator, from 85 to 240 millimeters. That product range lets design engineers maximize performance while minimizing overall design footprint. Parker's HMR actuator is for OEMs, machine builders, and end users looking for heavy duty industrial positioners. Consider this HMR, it's a dual square rail guided actuator with solid covers that completely wrap the outside of the chassis. With Parker's best in class seal strip technology to protect internal components from contamination. But this HMR actuator comes in a multitude of other configurable options. So for example, the HMR can be configured with or without the IP54 protective covers. The actuator's new RPP belt profile has round instead of trapezoidal teeth. So for designers, that means the belt profile is more efficient to save energy. It also has smooth tracking and low cogging, which makes for smooth motion while granting ideal thrust force transmission. That also boosts repeatability of motion. HMR actuators come factory installed with impact protection bumpers. These carriage mounted bumpers can mitigate the energy released by unintentional impact and afford some protection against mechanical damage. Two bumpers are fitted to each side of the carriage for four bumpers in total. The HMR belt driven actuators, the most useful for designs needing high speed or long travel lengths, also give machine builders the freedom to mount the motor in any of four positions at 90 degree intervals around the axis of motion. That in turn lets engineers make the most of allotted design space. In short, the way the actuators accept motors in multiple ways provides ultimate configurability and lets engineers use a flexible design process. The actual motor mounting geometry is quite simple, so the mechanical interface doesn't impose limitations. Plus, the design minimizes offset load and multi-axis arrangements. Engineers can mount the actuator itself from above with toe clamps or from below into the T-slot on the actuator. Parker also sells pinning options to maintain orthogonality in multi-axis configurations and to hold position if the load or actuator needs to be removed from the base and reinstalled later. One quick note about dual axis options, HMRBs quickly combine into dual axis configurations with a link shaft to match the motion between the stages using one motor. An array of sensors from Parker go into the HMR. They either mount externally in a T-slot running the actuator's frame length or internally mount beneath the IP54 cover. For more information, visit parkermotion.com or linearmotiontips.com. Thanks for watching.